that there is certification of electron, uh, electricians under the California Labor Code. <clears throat> In Division One, Chapter 4.5, it discusses the certification of electricians in this state. Chapter 4.5 was added in 2012 by Chapter 46. Section 108 of the Labor Code requires the Division of Labor Standards Enforcement, DLSC, also known as the Labor Commissioner, to man maintain minimum standards for the competency and training of electricians through a system of testing and certification. DLSC must also maintain an advisory committee and panels as necessary to carry out the functions under this section. It must establish and collect fees necessary to implement this section of law. It's required to carry out the responsibilities of the Division of Apprenticeship Standards. It has to issue certification cards to electricians who have been certified pursuant to this section of law. And the DLSC <clears throat> must maintain an electrical certification curriculum committee comprised of representatives of the State Department of Education, the California Community Colleges, and the DLSC. In addition, uh, there's a prohibition against discrimination for or against any person based on membership or non-membership in a union. And the term electrician, of course, is defined here. Section 108.2 requires persons who perform work as electricians to become certified and uncertified persons are prohibited from performing electrical work for which certification is required. Certification is required only for those persons who perform work as electricians for contractors licensed as class C10 electrical contractors under the contractor state licensing board. There's also an application process for certification and examination that includes an employment history report from the Social Security Administration. And the Division of Apprenticeship Standards is required to maintain separate certifications for general electricians, fire safe, fire life safety technicians, residential electricians, voice data video technicians, and non-residential lighting technicians. There are a number of specified grounds for disciplinary proceedings, including suspension or revocation of one's license. The labor commissioner is required to maintain a process for referring cases to the contractor state licensing board when it's been determined that a violation of this section of law has likely occurred. And upon receipt of a referral by the labor commissioner's office alleging a violation under this section, the Registrar of Contractors is required to open an investigation. Section 108.3 requires the DLSC to make information about electrician certification available in non-English languages. It must provide for the administration of certification tests in Spanish and to the extent practical other non-English languages. And it must ensure in, conduct, in conjunction with the California Apprenticeship Council that all electrician apprenticeship programs approved impose minimum formal education requirements as a condition of entry and provide for reasonable alternative means of satisfying those requirements. Section 108.4 provides that an uncertified person may perform electrical work for which certification is required in order to acquire the necessary on-the-job experience for certifications if all specified requirements are met. Also, an educational provider that receives approval for a partial curriculum must disclose in all communications to students and to the general public that the educational provider has only received approval for a partial curriculum. And finally, there's section 108.5 that established the Electrician Certification Fund as a special account in the state treasury, and proceeds of this fund may be expended by the Department of or the Division of Labor Standards Enforcement upon appropriation by the legislature uh, for the cost of the enforcement program in order to validate and certify electricians here in the state of California.